Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest, count pairs of point with distance k. The problem is very interesting if you are new to ZOR or practicing ZOR in general. The acceptance rate here might be a misleading, bit misleading, the reason being the unusual lead code time constraint, wherein if you use map, it might not pass, if you use set, it might pass, or vice versa. So, in general, if you are able to solve this in coordinates dot length multiplied by k time, uh, this is uh, this should be accepted. If it is not accepted, then you can just move forward instead of uh, uh, giving it uh, more time. So, with that, let's get started. The problem states that you are given a 2D integer array coordinates and an integer k, where coordinates of i is a pair x i comma y i. We define the distance between two points as x1 zor x2 plus y1 zor y2 where zor is the bitwise zor operation we have to return the number of pairs i comma j such that the distance between i and j is equals to k right so in this particular example we have four points and k is 5 so we need to find the number of pairs such that the distance between them is 5 so in this particular example, there are two such pairs, 0, 1 and 2, 3. So this is 0, this is 1. So if you just uh, zor them or find the distance between them, the distance will be x1 zor x2 plus y1 zor y2. So x1 is 1, y1 is 4. So 1 zor 4 plus 2 zor 2. So 2 zor 2 will be 0, 1 zor 4 will be 5. The sum would be 5 and it is equals to k and hence 0, 1 is a valid pair. You can try out other possible combinations as well and you will see only two combinations satisfy the criteria where the distance between the pair is actually equals to 5. So hence the answer here is 2. Now how to solve this? So we have this criteria x1 zor x2 plus y1 zor y2 should be equals to k. What you can do? You can fix x1, right? So you can say, okay, I will fix one, quad, one point and I will try to find out all other point which will set which will come with this point such that the distance between the chosen point and the new point is equals to k. Now this is a good strategy but what this would mean is you have to iterate over each of the other point x comma y for each point x1 comma y1. So, if there are n number of points, for each of these n points, you will be walking over all the different n points. And hence the complexity here would be order n square, which will not pass because n is here of the order 100,000, uh, like 50,000. So we need to do something better. Now what we can do? Notice that if this would have been ZOR, this would be completely different problem. So, and very easier as well. So, I would encourage you to uh, pause and try to solve this problem by yourself, wherein instead of plus, we have ZOR here. If you are new to ZOR, if you already know about ZOR and property, uh, this might be a big, bit of uh, easy problem for you. Now, here we have plus. So, summation of two numbers should be equals to k and we also notice that k is very small. So we can utilize this constraint in our solution. Now sum of two numbers is equals to k. What are the possible choices for that? It can, let's say uh, k is 5, just an example. So in this case, it can be 0 plus 5, right? it can be 1 plus 4, it can be 2 plus 3 and so on and so forth. So there can be at max 6 different possibilities. Now why 6? You might say okay, why not 6 uh, minus 1 and 6? The reason is this is ZOR and this is also ZOR and ZORing two numbers or two positive numbers will never yield a negative number and hence we only care about the positive numbers or 
greater than numbers which are greater than equals to zero, and hence there are only k choices for a particular value k, right? So we want to sum two numbers such that the sum is equals to k. There are at uh, around k choices of getting these two numbers. Now let's say we know that this value is k one and this value is k two. Now k one and k two is fixed, right? So what we want is x1 or x should be equals to k1, y1 or y should be equals to k2. We already know x1 and k1. We want to find x. We already know y1 and k2. We want to find y. This is a very straightforward problem. You can pause and try to solve this by yourself. So in general, our algorithm now is we will divide our K, we will divide our uh, operators in two parts. We will say the left part would be sum t, and the right part would be sum k minus t. And obviously, the sum should be equals to k. And we all we already noticed that there are only k plus one such valid choices. And for each of these k plus one valid choices, we will try to find out the Number of valid pair x comma y, right? So in this particular case, we will say, okay, how many pairs x comma y are there such that x is equals to x one zor zero, right? Uh, basically, if you zor both side with x, you will see this would be different, and this would be x one zor. Uh, Let's say this t. So this, if you zor both side with x and t, you will say this t and t will cancel each other, right? Because they both have same bit set. So if same bit set, they will be unset after zoring. So this t and t will cancel each other. The right side there will be only be x, and the left side there will be x1 zor x zor x zor t, right? So in other words, again this x and x will cancel each other. So this will be x1 zor t. so we already know what will be what should be the value of x and in the similar fashion we already know what should be the value of y and because we know x and y we can simply see how many such pair exist in the given problem or in the given uh, set of points right so what will be the time complexity time complexity will be we will be iterating over each of these combinations so there will be k plus one such combination, in other words, order k combination. For each of these combination, we are doing some operations here to figure out x comma y. And once we figure out x and y, we will simply look up x and y in the given set of points. That look up will take uh, order one time, right? Now, notice that this order one time. Is when we have fixed x1 comma y1. So we have to do this for all x1 comma y1. So in total, there will be n x1 comma y1. So this would be our final time complexity. In other words, n into k, right? So let's just do it. Uh, let's do dry run over one of the samples to make this a bit more clear. Let's say this is the given set of points. We have four points: one comma two, four comma two, one comma three, five comma two. And k is five, so we want such pairs such that the distance between them is five, right? Now we already know that we will be applying this sort of logic where we will be iterating over all possible choices where the sum can be equals to k, and for each of these choices, we will try to find out what is the like how many point satisfied for a given point x one comma y one. So let's fix the point one comma two. now we will be doing we will be iterating over the algorithm for 1 comma 2 and in the same fashion you can iterate over all other points to get the final answer so what we are trying to find how many points are there such that the distance between that point and 1 comma 2 is 5 right so there are six possible choices right as we discussed t equals to 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 now if t is 0 it means we want 1 Zor something to be equals to zero and two zor something to be equals to five, right? 
Now, what will be the value of x here? If you just draw both sides with 1, uh, you will get uh, 1 here. So, value of x should be 1. And if you draw both sides with 2, you will get uh, the value of y here, which would be 7. So, it means that all the pair which have 1 comma 7 will have a distance of 5 from this point 1 comma 2. And uh, you can just simply look up in this array how many such pair exist. So in this particular case, there is no 1 comma 7. So number of such pair possible is 0, right? Now again at t equals to 1, we want 1 zor something should be equals to 1 and 2 zor something should be equals to 4. Now if you just do zor of 1 both side, the value of x would come out to be 0. Zor 2 on both side, the value of y comes out to be 6. And now what we are saying is all the pair 0, 6 will give a distance of 5 from this point. So let's just figure out how many such 0, 6 points exist. Again, no such point exists, so 0. So just to make this clear, if you just find out the distance between 1 and 2, 1, 2 and 0, 6, you will be getting 5. So let's just uh, try this. 1, zor 0 is 1. 2, zor 6 is 4. So 1 plus 4 would be 5. So that's what the distances. So in the similar fashion, you will try for 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's just try it for 4 once. So if you try it for 4, again 1 or something should be equal to 4 and 2 or something should be equal to 1. Now here the value of x should be 5 if you just draw 1 on both sides and the value of y would be 3. Now it means all the pair 5,3 will have a distance of 5. Again, there is no such pair 5,3 here. So the answer here is 0. Now finally, for t equals to 5, if you see uh, the value of x here would be 4 and the value of y that will come out here to be 2. So we all the pair which are 4, 2 will have a distance of 1. Uh, we have, will have a distance of 5 from this point 1, 2. And we can see there is indeed 1, 4, 2 here. So we will see, we'll say, okay, there is one point. There's one point which will have a distance of 5 from 1 comma 2 when t equals to 5 right and uh, we will simply sum them all up and we will get how many points are there such that the distance between that point and 1 comma 2 is 5 right in the same fashion you will apply the algorithm for 4 comma 2 and then for uh, for 4 comma 2 you will have all these five or six conditions then you will apply for 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 2 and finally you will sum all, all of them up to get the answer now notice that when you sum everything up, you will be getting twice your actual result, right? Now why twice? Because notice that when you will be calculating 4 comma 2, you will again get 1 comma 2, right? So when you will say that, okay, give me all the points, which is at a distance of 5 for 4 comma 2, you will again get 1 comma 2 here. So you counted 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 2 once previously and now you are counting it again. So you can avoid it uh, through various techniques, but you might not want to avoid it at all. You will just uh, simply count the final result and you already know that it will be twice the total result. So you can, whatever the sum you will get, you will simply divide by 2 to get the final result, right? So hope this entire solution makes sense. I would strongly encourage you to pause and try to code this entire thing by yourself to get a much better understanding. So next we will be looking at the code. The code is straightforward. What we have done, we have just maintained a map of uh, all the points, right? So that we can actually look up how many points exist. Now after that, we iterated over all the points. For each point, as discussed, we will be trying out all possible combinations which can yield a sum of k. So x would be equals to, so we want uh, the Zor or the first part, we want the first part x1 or x2 to be equals to x or and the remaining part y1 or y2 to be equals to k minus x or right. So this is what we want x and y to be uh, c, c0 or uh, x or and c1 or k minus x or. Now finally we will count how many such points exist. And just one, one, one edge case is there, which is, uh, 
if you if you say that okay the distance uh, x comma y distance should be equals to zero let's say if k is zero so in that case uh, you will get one comma distance between one comma two and one comma two will also be valid so you don't want to compute that uh, those criteria because it is given in the problem that i should not be equals to zero so for that case we just subtracted the uh, subtracted one if the current pair also is equals to x comma y and uh, after we get after we do all all these things as discussed we will get twice the result that we want so we'll simply divide by 2 and return that as an answer so hope this entire solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem feel free to post them in the comment section below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you